This is my model for the Scene Stealer, which is the short version of our modern Hollywood collection. We're going to take the sides very, very short in an undercut just below that lower recession, all the way in through the back profile with a slight disconnection falling over that for a really soft textured feel. I want to keep her length in the front and again take this density out of the sides and really give a nice form fitting shape in the back. We've prepped our model with our Blonde Sexy shampoo and conditioner and pre-sectioned front from back and also we pre-sectioned from the lower parietal all the way to above the occipital. Now we're taking vertical sections starting in the middle straight out from the head shape cutting 90-90. This is cut fairly close, as you can see my fingers are right on the head shape. Make sure and take lots of vertical sections as to not laterally direct the hair. Each section is held straight out from the head shape till we get to above the ear. We're going to continue taking vertical subsections and 90-90 straight out from the head shape. We're cleaning up the neck area and the sides. Repeat the movements on the opposite side. Behind the ear, using that guide, straight out from the head shape, 90-90. And clean this up. This is your choice. You can create a very hard visual line, but I'm choosing to keep it softer by point cutting. Make sure to comb through the hair and detail, removing any weight that you see. So now we're going to separate front from back, from the highest point of the head shape to the top of the ear. And we're going to separate the back just about a one inch parting. This will be horizontal on top and curved at the bottom. We're going to subdivide this into three vertical subsections. Our elevation is going to be 45 degrees with a finger angle of 90. Enter approximately halfway between the parting and the desired length, which in this haircut is right below the occipital bone. Each section will be laterally directed towards that center section and using that as your guide to enter, cut down and out and again finishing below the occipital. Now we're moving up the head shape taking another horizontal parting, again approximately one inch. We're going to subdivide this into seven vertical subsections. Starting with the center subsection, our elevation again is 45 degrees and we're using the underneath as a guide to enter as well as a guide to exit. When the bottom falls out from the underneath, you want to finish longer, again making that hair fall over the occipital. As you can see, it's disconnected. The top is longer than the underneath. Again, each section is straight out from the head shape until you get to behind the ear and that's laterally directed back. Repeat the movements on the other side and move up the head shape taking another horizontal parting. And now we're subdividing this into five vertical subsections and repeating the movements as before. Elevation 45, finger angle 90, cut down and out, again finishing at that perimeter below the occipital. Once we reach the section above the ear, laterally direct that back and cut down and out, again repeating movements. Repeat the movements on the other side. After dropping down the top profile, we subdivided that into three radial subsections. Again, each section is elevated to 45 degrees with a 90 degree finger angle, using the underneath as our guide, 
the bottom falls out to finish the top. That really releases that weight in the top profile. So now we're finding her natural part after we drop down the top profile. We have a heavy side, which is what I have in my hands now, and we have the light side. On the light side, we're going to subdivide into two horizontal sections. You can split that 50-50. On each side, we're going to subdivide each horizontal section into forward diagonal subsections. Each section is elevated to 45 degrees and cut down and out, letting it fall softly on top of the ear, which is approximately the same length as you cut the back. Each section from the top of the ear forward is laterally directed back to the ear to preserve length. This creates a very, very soft perimeter falling over that beautiful undercut. Drop down the top horizontal section and again subdivide that into four diagonal forwards. Cut down and out, repeating the movements. So we're taking the heavy side, dividing it into two equal horizontals. and then separating each of those equally into two horizontals. So that leaves us four horizontals on top, and again, dropping down that top section and cutting down and out to approximately the same length as the back, which is gonna fall approximately the middle of the ear for this design. From the top of the ear forward, each section is laterally directed to the ear and cut down and out. Moving up the head shape, taking another four and repeating the movements. When you get to that front fringe on top, make sure you leave some length, just for a little insurance because you can always go back and create a shorter fringe. Subdivide that remaining top again into two. and then again into four equal diagonal forward subsections. Each section is lightly directed to the ear and cut down and out. See the bottom fall out? I finish the top. It really is that simple. Lightly directed back, make sure you do this to leave that length, and you can also come out a little bit later in the length just to leave it, even the fringe a little disconnected. So we drop down the top, repeated the sectioning, and we're repeating the movements. Make sure your elevation is down, you wanna move away so you actually keep that length. And that completes the Scene Stealer short version of our Modern Hollywood Collection.